I 32F am furious with my husband 34M for pursuing his dream. The title makes me sound like the bad guy, and I'm still unsure of whether or not I am. I have so many feelings spinning around that I'm hoping to get a third-party perspective to help level the field. So about a month ago my husband got a random message from an acquaintance, we'll call him Jeff, who he had worked for in the distant past. Jeff is currently living 3.5 hours away where he is slowly but surely building a company for himself in the same field as my husband. The reason for Jeff's sudden appearance is that he was wondering if my husband would be willing to do an odd job for him, as Jeff had just recently lost his lead guy and he was really in a pinch. My husband has his own freelance business and he does very well for himself, so since he had the time, he decided to go along with the job and hopefully catch up with an old friend. I didn't think too much of it. A one-day job turned into three days as more work was given to my husband something that is totally normal and on the third evening when my husband finally came home he dropped the bomb on me that what Jeff had going was everything he had ever dreamed of and that he was merging businesses with him. I was a little shocked so I mostly just waited to see what else my husband had to say, and I even made the 3.5 hour drive myself a few days to meet with Jeff and his employees, and I have to admit, it's a great opportunity. It all seemed great, except I felt extremely excluded and like my life has suddenly veered off in an entire different direction than where it was headed just months ago. My husband and I have been scrimping and saving to purchase our dream house in the city that we're currently living in, and now there's suddenly talk about us moving cities. It just seems like me, our two children, seven and two, and the dog are all a total non-priority when literally 40 days ago both my husband and I were on the same page and actively making strides towards our future. I sat my husband down and I tried to explain this all to him, how I was feeling, the logistics, and how I, and other members of the family, felt excluded that we were forced to live his pipe dream. And my husband at first was understanding and I thought this conversation would hopefully give us time to come to a compromise. Yet my husband comes back telling me that Jeff has made a position available for me with his business and that we can go forward with it. But his isn't what I want. I work from home so I can watch the kids and the dog, so I would have to find care for them, something that would fall on my shoulders, and also my husband is in a completely different field than me, one I never considered for myself. I just feel like my children and me aren't any more than pawns being moved around the playing board so my husband can get what he wants. Yet on the other side of the fence, I have met Jeff and seen how his business operates and it seems like a really great opportunity for my husband to grow as an individual, as a professional and even make more stable income. So my question is how could I best deal with this? I've only talked to my husband very seldom the last few days, he's away working with Jeff again, and there's definitely tension between us. I'm furious but at the same time I also feel a little silly and unreasonable, as there isn't much keeping me in this city aside from the promise of buying our dream house and being close to other family members. Thank you. Too long did not read. Husband up and got a job 3.5 hours away without consulting me, he wasn't jobless before. All of our future plans that we've hashed out together are now out the window as he pursues his dream job, leaving me, the kids and our dog to figure out where we fit into his life. I'd get a lawyer to look into all the contracts. My brother-in-law had a similar, amazing opportunity, to merge businesses. He got royally fucked over in the difference of the vision, sell versus actual workload and in the contracts and wound up quitting, and sold the rights to his idea to the other person. If it's an exciting opportunity then there's even more reason to have a cooling off period where there's minimal contact with Jeff. Your husband is being incredibly naive and selfish. He's going to end up losing both his family and business. Your feelings are incredibly reasonable. Imagine you had done the same thing. How would your husband feel? I think it's a bad idea for both of you to work for the same company. That's putting all of your financial eggs into one basket. Which might be okay if you didn't have kids to support. I'd be worried about sticking all my eggs in one Jeff's basket. When things feel too good to be true, they usually are. NTA. This is like going to your high school reunion, hooking up with an ex and running off to Vegas to get married the same weekend. This isn't a partnership. He isn't treating it like one at all. Whatever you do, I would not put all my financial eggs in one basket that is easily tipped by the circumstances of a personal relationship. I don't have advice on the rest but good luck. In your shoes, if the approach had been, how can we make this work, let's do a trial run. I would have received so much better but like you I'd be pissed. Can the role be done remotely? Hybrid? Your husband will find out that even though they have merged their businesses, his friend is ultimately the boss and he will have to take direction and decision-making decisions from him. 
That could make your husband feel resentful and trapped. You aren't being silly or unreasonable to not want your husband to suddenly make huge decisions that unilaterally affect your whole lives without talking to you about it first. It doesn't sound like you're trying to prevent your husband from pursing happiness, you just want to be included in the plans, and allow to have a say in what happens to your life, and the lives of your children. You husband should not be making these decisions entirely by himself when it affects so much more than just him. You need to find a time to sit with him and tell him all of this and tell him how much these changes are affecting you. If he refuses to listen, please seek counseling on how to best move forward in your situation. Er, make sure you pull your next couple of paychecks into your own account and try and have enough cash on hand it make it through the next couple of months. If he doesn't give up this dream, he may drain your joint accounts. Just a tale of caution. If you're a minority investor in a company, you typically have zero control over money spent, who is hired and at what salary and compensation. I have been involved with three companies that were partnerships. Only one company was run correctly. The first company, the owner who had minority investors put his wife on the payroll who worked for me. She made $45 an hour, her timesheet was typically 50 to 60 hours per week and she would come to work about an hour a day. I could go on forever on the pitfalls. If the other guy was so willing to put you on the payroll, what does that mean in the future? Other family members on the payroll adding little value. Your husband seems to be heading into a messy path. Be careful and lawyer up. Sounds like you need financial and legal advice. And start separating your finances. I have a relative who ruined his and his family's life financially for literally decades. This is so extreme that it sounds made up, but let me assure you, it is unfortunately accurate, by merging businesses and somehow had enormous amounts of debt dumped on him. Duped by a so-called great business opportunity. Beware. There are many legal ways to work together, share resources, projects, clients and revenue, without merging and without risking everything he has built. Making a decision in three days is a huge red flag. Good chance your husband isn't great at objectively evaluating business outlook and risk. Most businesses fail. If you move too good chance it goes under and you're both without income. A generation ago, it was commonplace for one spouse to pursue the power job, while the other spouse supported them by taking the primary child caregiver role and making sure the house was taken care of, etc. etc. It is possible that if you choose to support your spouse in this endeavor, you could all end up much better off. I don't want to upset you by saying this, but think about what might happen if you truly give this a chance. Maybe it could be good for all of you. When I first watched The Office, I was not married and did not have kids and I was definitely on Jim's side. Why stay at a dead-end job with no prospects in a shitty town when he could be successful in a cool city? Then I had kids and I was far more Team Pam in that moving away from her safety net with kids would suck. But ultimately it was a far better life to move, which she did in the end. In conclusion, I'm still Team Jim, moving away to better prospects could be great. I think you're rightfully annoyed your life is gone and scared of the change, but once you get your head around it it might be fantastic. Get very thing checked out by legal etc. And surely you don't have to work at the business if you don't want to. You two are supposed to be a team. It doesn't matter if it is his dream job. It needs to be what is best for the family now. This is a plot line on the office. Make it absolutely clear you and the kids aren't moving. If his choice is to leave, then you know where his priorities are. Just want to let you know that you may start experiencing feelings for a boom mic operator with a nice smile, but don't give in, it'll all work itself out. Sounds like you should discuss it with you husband. People shouldn't be so dependent on each other that they can't even live their life the way they want. Plans change all the time. So do moods, dreams, spouses, and futures. Let people live their life and live yours without counting on anyone else to fulfill it. Being a freelance person before means he actually was jobless. Tens of millions of freelancers used unemployment in the past few years. Follow his lead. You admit this is a great opportunity. It's not just his dream, the whole family can benefit. You can work from home anywhere and the kids aren't in school. Stop giving him silence and trouble. He should have gotten your input, but he neglected to do that. That doesn't mean you have to go into angry sabotage mode when this is after all a good situation. Just do your best to keep talking through this. I think you might just need time to adjust to the new idea and path. Can't you continue to work from home anywhere? An opportunity for your dream job is hard to pass up. He should have been more open, but the excitement may be making this difficult. You may need to really think about if you want to pull the plug on this. It may lead to resentment. 
Is the other town so bad? Can you work from home there too? Do it distance for a while until you feel comfortable. Both of you are right. So there is no straightforward solution. I think he is overconfident on you that you will manage everything or he does not understand the house management challenges that well. But in either or any scenario what I would personally say is pandemic has ended lots of business and gave birth to lots of opportunities but market, economy and government itself is so unstable. He should think about the two years old and have some control over his excitement. I am a guy, I also have job and pursue my passion as a freelancer. But I feel changing world around a two years old overnight is little dramatic. Like you said, there's not a lot keeping you in that city. You see your opportunities and you make your choices. I get feeling miffed that he didn't consult you, and frankly, if your lives are that separate, that's not much of a partnership, but that's my opinion. But, if that's how things are, I would just make sure that everything is on the up and up and come up with a decent compromise on logistics. He is entitled to his dreams too. Reminds me of Pam and Jim's situation from the office. Your husband needs to communicate better and you guys got to make decisions as a team. Yes your husband should at least consult you before making life-altering decisions. He should at least perform due diligence before merging the businesses and take some cooling off time before cementing the deal. This is not being unreasonable. It's sensible business practice. Best way is to talk to you husband about this. Communication is the key. He is your husband and I am sure he would try his best to help you out. You'll also have to understand that this is his dream, and he needs your support more than anyone else's. Talk to him about this and make him understand how you feel about this. He might get shocked but try to make him understand. You won't regret it. Please, have him read this thread, especially if normal discussion won't work. Some cogent and pragmatic arguments have been made here on the financial and relational side, that is have plan B, C, because you shouldn't make this as an all-in poker move, given the implications for the whole family. It is a scam. But for the family part, he should have consulted you. But again opportunity give you a better chance at a better life. Don't settle on a location because it's a dream to be there if there is better opportunity somewhere else. It's just my opinion. Maybe his friend is trying to eliminate your husband as competition. Does sound he's rushing into it a bit. If it's legitimately as good as it sounds, then Jeff will be willing to wait. Pump the brake, do the due diligence, take a vacation together and chat about it. If Jeff puts any pressure to go fast, then tell your husband that's a boundary and if he crosses it, he is choosing between his career and his family. For the love of God hire a fucking lawyer competent in M and a before you do anything drastic. Also why complicate life more than it needs to be, you guys had it so good already. Communicate with him, don't isolate yourself. If you're so upset then you need to talk to him not talk to him seldomly. Let him know you how you truly feel, but he respectful about it. It doesn't have to be an attack on him or his dreams and let him know that. You should show your hubby what you wrote in the op. I think your feelings are coming across clearly enough. Perhaps a different form of communication might be what is needed to really get your thoughts across. He should understand, that isn't an unreasonable assumption in my opinion. Have a discussion with him about how you feel. Leave the logistics out of it for this discussion. Leave the idea of making a decision out of it. Tell him that before starting the talk, that you need him to listen and try to understand your POV. That you feel like you aren't a priority. Other feelings. He is jade, justify, argue, defend, evade, the things you are bringing up. He will likely do the same with your feelings. Encourage him to listen. One conversation probably isn't going to cut it. You got to let him know how you feel, otherwise you will likely not be able to move forward even if he pumps the brakes. I'm extremely suspicious of the fact that over only three days it went from, do some work for me, to, let's merge businesses, why is a merger necessary? Why can't your husband keep professional boundaries in place and work for Jeff as a subcontractor instead of jumping straight to a merger? This feels like the business equivalent of the creepy guy who declares his undying love for you and brings an engagement ring on the second date. Wasn't this an episode of The Office? An ex tried something similar to this with me where he was making big plans for his life which would greatly impact me without even having a conversation with me. It made me really see how our priorities were different. I was consistently prioritizing our relationship and focusing on what was best for us as a couple. I thought we were partners. He was prioritizing himself and focusing on what was best for him. He saw me as his sidekick. That whole situation was a big red flag. At the very minimum I would hire an attorney or a forensic accountant to review all these contracts and go through the books of this new company. 
Something about this sounds really fishy. Stable businesses don't usually need to move this quickly. The fact that this is happening so fast to me is a red flag. It indicates the new company might be drowning in debt and needs to quickly come up with some new assets so Jeff is pushing your husband into this merger. He has kids, so he can't just move and evaporate your savings like that. He sounds really selfish and immature. Marriage counseling, stat. And protect the family's savings, no matter what. Your husband knows jack shit about Jeff's business. Three days isn't long enough to go through all the financials. Uprooting kids for a business opportunity. Unless it's game-changing money for the family, it's totally not worth it. Children thrive with a stable community and throwing out their friend groups won't help them develop well, at all. All other problems aside that everyone else is addressing, why in the world is he expecting you to switch jobs? That's not a necessary part for him to go after his dream. You could still work from home in a different place while he pursues his dream and you wouldn't have to do something you don't want to and wouldn't have to find someone to watch the kids. I just don't understand. Is a month enough to sit with it? Perhaps it's the speed at which this is happening that's really the culprit. If you had more time and were able to ease in, would you feel differently? Also, consider the idea that your husband commutes for a little bit. Can he bunk with Jeff? Before you and your kids are pulled in, as well. Is that an option? My husband decided to make a leap and start his own company, but not without talking to me and asking how I felt about it. I also had young kids at the time and it was adding a lot of instability to his career that gave me some anxiety. Ultimately, and partly because he respected me enough to ask my opinion, I told him to go for it. Your husband didn't ask, he made a huge career decision that affects your life without consulting you at all. And in a marriage, that doesn't fly.